Harnessing the Digital Revolution, Advancing Personal Growth with Technology. Welcome back, dear listeners. We're diving into another engaging episode of Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. Today, we're about to undertake a rich exploration of technology and its potential to fuel personal growth. This will be a story as old as humanity, told through the lens of our digital age. Now, let's begin. If we consider our relationship with technology, it's often one of love and hate. We appreciate the ease and convenience that these digital devices and platforms bring to our lives, but we are simultaneously aware of their potential to bring about distraction and dependency. Sigmund, 2015. Yet the same tools that have the potential to distract us can also be the instruments of our personal growth. We're in an era where we can't avoid technology, so let's not just use it, but let's leverage it. Personal growth, as a term, can mean many things to many people. It could refer to enhancing one's skills and knowledge, improving physical and mental health, fostering stronger relationships, and pursuing happiness and contentment. To examine how we can leverage technology for personal growth, we'll look at these dimensions one by one. Let's start with learning. We know that learning is a lifelong pursuit and is not limited to the confines of a classroom. In fact, the opportunity to learn is everywhere around us, particularly through the internet. Today, we can take online courses, watch instructional videos, participate in webinars, download ebooks, and listen to podcasts. Car 2012. These digital tools democratize learning, providing access to knowledge that would otherwise be inaccessible to many. Technology has also played a pivotal role in maintaining and improving our physical and mental health. Health and fitness apps have made it easier than ever to monitor and improve our physical well-being. Webster, 2019. These apps can help track workouts, provide nutritional advice, monitor sleep patterns, and even offer guided meditation sessions. The landscape of telemedicine has also seen significant expansion. It brings the doctor to the patient, providing quality health care to even the remotest corners of the world. Webster 2019. Next, in building relationships, social networking platforms have opened up avenues for communication and connection. While there is a risk of superficial relationships in this realm, used mindfully, these platforms can help us stay in touch with loved ones and make new connections based on shared interests. BAME 2015. Lastly, our pursuit of happiness and contentment can be influenced by technology. There are numerous apps designed to foster mindfulness, manage stress, and promote happiness. They're tools that, when used effectively, can help us maintain our mental well-being. Kabat-Zinn, 2015. Yet in every case, technology is but a tool. It's how we use it that determines its value. It's in our hands to leverage these tools to foster our personal growth, or let them lead us astray. For as our fingers glide across the keys or screens, we are in essence molding ourselves, sculpting the raw stone of our being into a refined figure. One could argue that in the end, it's not technology that's the driving force behind personal growth, but our mindset towards it. It's about being purposeful and deliberate about how we use technology, making it work for us rather than the other way around. Dweck, 2006. Therefore, dear listeners, remember that your devices are mere tools. Don't let them dominate your life. Instead, consider how you can put them to work for your benefit. Seek out knowledge through the digital channels that are accessible to you. Use health and fitness apps to guide your physical well-being. Stay connected with loved ones and cultivate new relationships online. Cultivate your mind and spirit with the assistance of digital platforms designed to foster mental health. Of course, the promise of technology should not blind us to its pitfalls. Digital devices and platforms can just as easily serve as sources of distraction and procrastination, keeping us from doing the things that lead to growth. We must be mindful of this and make conscious efforts to control our use of technology, rather than allowing it to control us. Cross it all. 2020. This control may take the form of setting specific goals for what we want to achieve using technology, establishing boundaries for when and how long we use it, and regularly taking breaks from technology to engage in offline activities that contribute to our growth. The key is balance. Finding that sweet spot where technology serves us without becoming a master itself. Cross it all, 2020. And what about the gaps in our reach, the spaces that technology can't touch? There will always be areas of our lives that require human touch, a presence that a device or an app can't replicate. We should honor those spaces, protect them. For as much as our screens can give, they can also take away draining the vibrancy of the human experience if we're not careful. 
To conclude, it's an exciting time to be alive. Technology offers us vast opportunities for personal growth that we would be remiss not to take advantage of. At the same time, we must maintain a mindful approach to technology use, leveraging it for our benefit while avoiding its potential pitfalls. We are the navigators in this digital age, steering our own ships through the sea of information. As we journey onward, remember this, you are not a passive consumer in this digital landscape. You are an active participant, a sculptor, a creator. It's up to you how you choose to navigate, to create, and ultimately to grow. This has been an interesting topic to research, one that bridges the chasm between our human essence and the digital realms that have so thoroughly permeated our existence. As we progress in this digital age, let's always remember the power in our hands, the power to shape, to mold, to cultivate ourselves through the tools we've been given. When we speak of personal growth, we're talking about a journey. It's not a destination that we can reach in one giant leap, but rather a path that we tread one step at a time. Each step is an opportunity for learning, for change, for growth. And technology can help us take these steps, lighting the path, providing us with the resources we need, and connecting us with others who are on their own journeys. And yet, it's worth remembering that we are the journeyers. The devices and platforms we use are mere aids, tools that can help us along the way. They don't define our journey, we do. Our choices, our actions, our mindset, these are the true drivers of personal growth. We should strive to keep this in mind as we navigate the digital landscape, leveraging technology to enhance our growth without losing sight of who we are and what we stand for. Our discussion has covered several areas, from education to health, from relationships to mental well-being, and through it all, one thing has become clear. We live in a world that is ripe with opportunities for growth. The key lies in recognizing these opportunities and in learning how to seize them. This is a skill, and like any skill, it can be developed with practice and patience. As we wrap up this episode, I invite you to consider how you can apply the insights we've discussed to your own life. What steps can you take to leverage technology for your personal growth? How can you use digital tools to further your learning, improve your health, foster relationships, and promote your mental well-being? Don't just listen to this conversation, be a part of it. Take the ideas we've shared, mull over them, and see how you can make them your own. That's how real growth happens, not by passively absorbing information, but by actively engaging with it, by making it a part of who we are. That's it for this episode of Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. Until next time, remember technology is your tool, not your master. Be the sculptor, not the stone. Let's keep exploring, keep asking questions, keep learning. Let's strive to grow each day, each moment. For in the end, that's what life is all about, a journey of growth. And technology, as we've seen, can be a powerful ally on this journey. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and remember, your true potential is boundless. Get out of your own way.